fam welcome and if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning welcome back my name is tam i'm also known as the enlightened auntie you can find me all over social media particularly twitter and instagram under that girl tam um all of my information is below in the description box i am here to do the last of the love reading series for the sign of sagittarius sun moon rising and venus um if you've been rocking with me for any length of time you know that i'm not into love readings um at all so uh, I've been nudged by spirit to provide love readings because <laughs> evidently that's the focus right now. So here I am. Uh, we're doing them freestyle. I don't normally also do them like this either. So all of this is new for you and for me. So let's see what we've got. Um, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you are led to watch this, if you happen to watch it, if it resonates for you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and I appreciate it. All right, let's see. So the first card out, we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love. Hey, who's falling in love? Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. The bottom of the deck was love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Um... We're using five decks today, uh, two oracles and, oh no, three oracles and two tarot decks. Um, one of which is my tarot, I mean my oracle deck. I'm also working on a tarot deck, so I'm super excited to bring that to you guys this year. Uh, first card out we have is you're overly invested. Time to take a step back. Okay. You may be seeing synchronicities of 555. It talks about imminent change. Be open. Decisions may be um, upcoming for you. Creating new foundations, new people, new energies. So this talks about um, being open to allow new energies to come in, being open to um, really be open to accepting new energies. Like this kind of even gives me the sense that maybe you've been closed off a little bit. Use discernment, pay attention, choose wisely, meditate on it. The answer is no. And see the truth, remove the rose colored glasses. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot there to unpack. Um, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. Um, so maybe either you're miss you you could be just newly getting to know somebody. This could also talk about you again. I'm, again, I mentioned something about being closed off. I feel as though that was one of the first things I'm like, hmm, giving and receiving affection. Um, definitely, there's something that you're maybe very closed off to energetically. Uh, you may have somebody looking at your old photos, or you may be looking at old photos. Um, remembering and reminiscing on, you know, easier, simpler times, right? Um, but it's interesting because I'm looking at the top sentence of one card and the bottom sentence of the of another card. Make new memories, new people, new energies, new memories, new people. All of that goes hand in hand. Relationship evol evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Um, and for me, I see that with this see the truth and removing the rose, rose colored glasses um, because I feel like when you remove the rose colored glasses and you see situations um, particularly as they relate to your inner child and growth phases um, it's very important to see the real yeah all right so let's pull some romance angels cards and see what we've got for my Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. What do we have for Sagittarius? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. Ha! Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, and usually when the... the control issues card comes out it talks about 
you having particular expectation, you may have particular expectations about how you want something to turn out or a timeline, specific timeline. It needs to happen by this time or it needs to happen by that time. And that is, in fact, you trying to control the outcome of a situation instead of surrendering and allowing the universe to just drive the bus. Let the universe drive the bus. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Addictions don't necessarily have to be drugs and alcohol. I've had a couple of people that um, had that kind of energy come up in their, in their readings. Um, codependency in a relationship is very toxic. Um, this and literally could be with any kind of relationship. I know this is a love reading, but I mean, there's all types of love and all types of people that you experience love with. And so um, codependency within a relationship, um, whether it's just somebody relying heavily on your energy or, or you relying heavily on someone else, it's not healthy. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments again with this ev relationships evolving to the next phase healing the inner child i also believe that there is um part of healing requires forgiveness i love that the next card on the bottom was free yourself it's time to take back control of your life absolutely Absolutely. All right, so let's look. Oh, I've got two different decks here. Let's look at the tarot and see what we got. Sagittarius, Venus. So the financial and career issues, either you're a workaholic and you're, you know, or you feel like you don't have enough money, or they may feel like they don't have enough money. Um, Maybe getting to know somebody right now. Maybe considering travel or somebody maybe considering traveling to you for the purpose of getting to know each other better. So you may be trying to... Okay, there's a few things here. Um, one, there is a brand new opportunity or, or there's either a desire to go in a new direction and like there's this um, passion, drive, well, fire. Eh, yeah, that makes sense. So you have everything that it needs. You, you, you're probably manifesting, working really hard because I see the magician in the Eight of Pentacles. So this is literally you really focusing on your finances. This is you really focus and maybe too much right? Because if you're too focused on your coins, you're not really focused on love. Balance. Balance. Um, the Eight of Pentacles also talks about working towards, like, if you, there's, there's kind of a layer to that card for me. The Eight of Pentacles talks about, this is you working on your foundation. This is working on your self-mastery. This is you working to recover, working towards recovering any loss that you may have sustained. This also talks about you working really hard towards mastering a skill, working really hard, just trying to get your coins up, right? Could be working on new projects. I see you doing it though, right? That's funny that it showed up over the finances and career. Okay, so there's some change. There's some changes here, I feel that you are resisting maybe um there may be some changes here that you are trying okay relationship evolving there's changes that you are resisting and you may be resisting it because it feels un it feels uncertain it feels as though you're not really sure where you're going and you're not really sure how to navigate and you're afraid of being hurt you don't want you don't want to feel pain, you don't want to feel confusion. You're afraid of making the moves because I feel like you're. It, there's a fear of change. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So.
So some of you may be in a space to there's conflict. I feel like there's conflict. You've been conflicted. Um, and so you're in a space right now. There's you're of two minds. There's, you know, decisions that, yeah. And you really, the desire is you really want to move. You just really want to go. You really want something new here. Um, I feel as though you're, you're torn by a situation. You see the truth of it. Um, but there's conflict, whether this is within yourself or with other people. You still have energy to give to a situation. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. So it's about having perseverance and still pushing through despite the fact that, you know, maybe it might be a little tougher than you want to deal with. Um, you are still guarded, um, but still willing to put work into a situation. Uh, the only thing that I'm having issue with is this Two of Swords. I don't really, I'm, that's probably one of the cards that I'm not a big fan of. Um, just because it's, for me, Two of Swords is like willful indecision. It's like there's something you know you need to do, but you're not doing it. You're willfully not doing it. Um, and most of it, I think, is partially due to fear. Fear of change. Not comfortable with it. All right. Here's the thing. Should you decide to cut out the things that you know are not serving you, you end up with the wish fulfillment. Nine of cups, six of wands. Who don't like victory and success and happiness? Right? Make the decisions that you know you need to make. Yes, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. Page of Wands, out here twice. You know the truth. What's going to make you happy is moving on. Yeah. You going back and forth in your head about it, honey. You ain't changing nothing. You going back and forth in your head about it. You're going back and forth in your head about it. Now, I also have this energy of, of um, maybe somebody wanting to offer a, offer their cup because they see stability with you or you may see stability with them. Um, this could definitely have something to do with um, a father figure. Um, shout out to you if you know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. Um, this looks like you and your daddy. <laughs> I'm talking to you. All right. Um, that's it. I, I feel like there's like you're going back and forth. You know what you need to do. Just do it. That's all I can recommend. Just do it. Okay. All right, loves. That concludes my reading of Bottom of the Deck of Sun. So you are totally aware of what it is, what it is, what it is. You know what it is. All right. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to try to do these more often, like maybe weekly. Yeah, let's see how that works. Anywho, I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Again, if you'd like a personal reading more aligned with your personal situation, all of my information is below in the description box. Please like, share, and subscribe to circulate my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.